there, it's Ali here from Little Music Makers and it's time for this week's tutorial. Now this week in Little Music Makers we are going to visit the African savannah where we're going to meet some of the mammals that live there. And one of the mammals we're going to meet is the vervet monkey that lives in the trees there. So to make a monkey sound we are going to be using the groan tube. Look, here's a little one. This is a sad monkey. Oh, there's the bigger one, same sounds, <laughs> <laughs> laughing monkey. So I'm not sure if you're going to have a groan tube at home. So what I thought about is how can we replicate a monkey sound with an instrument? And so I'm going to show you how to make a really simple instrument called a quico. Quico, look, that's how you actually spell it. A bit different to how you say it, quico. A cuico is a drum from Brazil, originally um, originated in Northern Africa, uh, but it does sound quite a lot like a monkey. In fact, here is one that I've made. It's a bit strange, isn't it? It's just a can with a piece of string through it. But listen. Oh, a laughing monkey! So this is what we're going to make today. So very straightforward. What you need is a tin can. You need a piece of string or uh, wool will do as well um, with a knot in one end. There we go. You, If you don't have a tin can, you can use a paper cup. You could use a, a yogurt pot if you're careful to put the hole in it. Um, you can use anything that has a sound or an, anything that has a, a hole here um, to <laughs> amplify the sound. So very simply, all I did is I used my can of chopped tomatoes. Um, if obviously you don't have a can opener that leaves a soft edge like we do, you're going to want to put a bit of tape around here. Then, very simply, what I did before, in fact, I'll take the piece of string out so I can show you. I put a hole in the top of the lid. I didn't bother measuring it. Don't have time for that. So I got my can, got my hammer, just got a just a, a, a normal nail, one I found in the toolbox. Put it at the top, a couple of little, there you go, makes the hole. That's all you need to do. Once you have done that, you get your piece of string, make sure... There is a knot in one end and the other end, it doesn't necessarily have to be that long. It can be as long as you would like it to be. Then you feed it through the hole. So let me just do that. There we go. Get that little end, give it a tug. There we are. So there's the string through the hole. Now the key to the Quico is that you need to have your string wet. Um, mine oh still a little bit wet and what you have to do is pinch really hard and pull your fingers down it to get that noise now it may be easier I've got uh, just a scrap piece of cloth here you could use um, a dishcloth you could use a sock <laughs> um, anything at all get it wet and you can use that instead it might be better for little hands but what you need to teach them or you play it with them is the technique of pinching the string beneath the, uh, within the fabric. So put the fabric around, pinch it tight. <laughs> and there you go, you got a laughing monkey sound. Now, if you don't end up doing uh, a guico, that's absolutely fine, you don't have a go and tube, that's fine. What we can do is we can always just make the sound of monkey. So, it's a good one, isn't it? That's the pant hoot. Um, so, there you go. That is how you make a quico if you would like to make one at home. Um, groan tube if you've got a, or if not, you can just be a monkey monkeying around. Have fun, everyone. I'll see you all on Wednesday morning. Can't wait. Bye.